Hi everyone, so I decided I was going to show you what I carry in my favorite pen bag. This is the pen case that I take with me everywhere and you guys know I am a pen fanatic. So these are all of my favorite pens that I love to travel with. This is what I bring on or this is what I'm going to bring on the airplane and this is also what I bring on all of my trips or when we are going somewhere for a good period of time. I also carry this with me. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and get into this and show you guys all of my favorite pens that I carry with me all the time. I'm just gonna pull my chair up and get into the bag and show you guys what I carry with me. So. Before I get into it, actually, this bag, I love it. It's so pretty. It just says, happy girls are the prettiest, and I just love this bag. I actually found it at Rue 21. I'm not sure if they sell these anymore, but literally, I believe I got this um, around Christmas time, so they some might still have them. I paid, I believe it was like $2.99, and that was the original price. It wasn't on sale or anything. So they're ma And this is originally a makeup bag, which is perfect because it has that inner liner in it. It's not a plastic one, but it's called something else. And I can't remember what the exact name of the inner material is, but if your pen leaks, it's not going to leak through the bag. So that's why I love... Uh, this bag for my pens as well even though it's meant for a makeup case so um, that's where I got this they all they have cute bags all the time at Rue 21 cute makeup bags for really inexpensive um, so if you can't find one that you like at Target or somewhere like that definitely check out clothing stores like uh, Rue 21 because they have a lot of accessories in there as well so I'm gonna go ahead and get into the bag um, and like I said, I've had it since Christmas time, so it's lasted and I've carried it a lot of places already. So this is also what I'm taking on the airplane with me as well. But I'm going to go ahead and get into it. So I'm just going to push it up and I'm going to take everything out and show you what I carry with me. So I just have this deco tape, which is super cute. It's donuts. Um, so I have that. And I'm not sure if you are going to be able to see the actual tape, but that is what the print is. So there that is. So I carry that in there. I, You guys know how obsessed with these tape runners I am. Uh, I did a video showing my caddies that I carry. I haven't posted that yet, but I do have it pre-recorded. So I'm going to try to get that um, edited and stuff so I have it on private so I can post it while I'm gone. But um, I have one of these in here too. And then I just have a couple of sticky notes and page flags. These I believe I got off of Etsy, or not Etsy, um, uh, eBay, excuse me. Um, they're really inexpensive and cute. You can find them all the time. I just search for cute sticky notes and these a whole bunch of different ones come up and I got that one I believe I only paid like 60 cents for it with free shipping and then I just have a target page flag in there as well and then down to the actual pens that I carry hopefully it's focusing um, I carry a whole bunch of these friction markers and I love them because if you make a mistake you guys know that they are erasable. I got my friction markers off of Amazon because I found that that is the best uh, place for prices. Um, and then I also have these friction highlighters, which I've also purchased off of Amazon. And I don't remember exactly how much I paid for these, but um, I believe you can get the friction markers as well as the highlighters from Jet Pens as well as um, Tokyo Pen Shop if you don't want to order off of Amazon or a place like that. I believe you can get these off of eBay too if you prefer eBay. But I find that the price, you know, when you look on Amazon, sometimes you can get a better deal. Um, and then in some cases eBay is better. Um, it just all depends. So I just have a whole bunch of those. 
and they're all mixed in but I just like I said I believe I have a set of the markers and a set of the highlighters in there so I carry those because I love those for my traveler's notebook as well as my planners and then I just have this pen I got from a really good planner friend um, I'm not sure where she got it from but it's been one of my favorites and um, I just really love this pen. I want to say maybe Daiso, but uh, I really love that pen. And then I just have some of these Cura Rich Glitter Highlighters. You guys know that these are one of my favorite highlighters. I love them because they're not a plain highlighter. They are a glitter highlighter. And um, I just really love sparkles, so I also use these in my traveler's notebook as well as my planner. And then I have some of my friction gel pens, and I believe when you search for these, they are um, sometimes they're listed as colored pencils. So I just have a nice selection of those in here. Um, here's another Cure Rich um, highlighter I have in there and another um, highlighter. Uh, here's another gel pen. I just have um, a few colors. I don't I didn't put every color in there. Um, I just put a few of each. Although the marker and the highlighter set, I put all of that set, and I'm not sure which set. I believe the markers are the bold set. I have all the I have all the sets for those, so and the highlighters, I believe I just have one. I'm not sure if that's the only highlighter set they have or if this is classified as the pastel set, but I have all of those in there. And then I just have the blue, pink, and purple Cure Rich highlighter in there. And I believe that's all of, these are all of the gel pens that I have. I might have more straggly, but I have those. And then I have my set of Uniball Signo. And you guys know that these have been one of my favorite pens as well. I love them for journaling as well as planning. Even though the Inkjoy has become one of my, or the Inkjoy gel, excuse me, has become one of my favorite planner pens just because they do not smear. Um, and I really haven't noticed the Signo smearing either, even though they are a gel pen. Um, but I really, I believe I got the larger set off of Amazon. And I believe they were almost 30 bucks, but um, it's been well worth it. I actually ended up buying the travel set as well. So a lot of the, you know, some of these I do have doubles of put up in my pen stash. And I am planning on um, showing you guys my full pen collection here soon. So if you guys are interested in that, interested in seeing my full pen collection, go ahead and give me a thumbs up on this video. And that will let me know um, to film that video because you guys want to see Um really all of my pens I don't think that I've kept any that I didn't like just because I have so many it would just be so crazy to keep every single pen but I have the larger set of these signos in this bag because this bag as you can see holds quite a bit of pens so I just have basically every color of these signos in there I found it's easier instead of carrying like you know, five of this brand, five of that brand. I know I love those, so I put all of those in there. And then here is another highlighter, another one of those friction markers. Um, and then I just have a set of the Erin Condren, um, I guess they are the felt tip pins that she come out with. I actually really enjoy these pens. Some people I know don't because they bleed in some inserts, but um, if I, I've noticed if I'm using the Happy Planner, which you guys know is what I use anyways, they're perfect in those. So I just have those in there. Some more of the Signo. Um, and then I just have uh, this little correction tape, I believe is from Daiso. It also has a little eraser in it, 
which is nice for traveling. My last little Signo, which is like a dark blue. And then I just have a regular black pen. My husband does apartment, apartment maintenance. He's a supervisor and he gets a lot of these free pens. And I just, I'm not really a ballpoint pen lover. I'm more of a gel pen person, but I just really enjoy this pen for some reason. So I've kept it in my bag. And then I just have some um, little uh, uh, clips that I use in my traveler's notebook stuck in there. And basically, that is what I carry in my pen bag. This is the one that I go to. Um, I already know that I have a lot of stuff that I love in here. So usually this is the one that I throw in my bag the most. Um, and the quickest. I do have another bag and maybe I'll do a video on that one as well. Um, that I have some washi rolls. But on the plane I'm just going to carry... Uh, which if you guys or I don't know if that video is going to be posted before this one but if it is you have already seen this it's actually a card holder and I believe this is from Daiso too but I used a lot of my old cards and I put little washi samples in this and this is actually when I first got into planning I haven't even put like any of my new washi in here which is fine because a lot of this needs to be used anyways and I'm just gonna stick this in my purse as well for when I or when I'm on the plane that way if I am gonna do any journaling or anything I do have a good amount of washi already with me so I don't have to waste room on bringing the roll and this has been really useful I love it for traveling so I'll probably end up sticking that in my bag as well um, so I'll have that with me, um, but that is basically what I carry in this bag minus this. I'm just bringing that with me on the plane. I may take a couple of these friction stamps. I love these. These are really great for traveling as well because they are so small and they're erasable as well. Um, so if you haven't seen these stamps, um, I know that the Tokyo Pen Shop, Kimberly, she sells these really good price. I know these are these can be pricey as well, but they are really worth it if you love stamping. And, and then if you make a mistake, you can always erase them too. So they're really nice. Um, and I might bring a couple of those with me as well. But I just wanted to share with you guys what I carry in my pen bag or my favorite pen bag. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And like I said, if you want to see my full pen collection in my Karyo cabinet, I would be more than happy to do that video. So just give me a thumbs up. That will let me know that you are interested in seeing that. If you are a pen lover like me, I know um, I love seeing pen collections. So, I mean, that would probably be something that I would you know, like to see as well if, you know, so I love watching those videos too. Um, and then I can share what my like most, I guess, favorite and least favorite, even though, like I said, I don't try to keep a lot of the ones that I don't like just because I have so many anyways, I try to, um, rehome them so that they're being used. But those are some of my favorite pens that I travel with. I hope you all enjoyed this video and if you are not subscribed to my channel go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Uh, I would love to have you be a part of my channel and I will see you guys soon. I hope you all have a wonderful week and weekend and I will talk to you guys soon. Bye!